I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about the amino acid tryptophan. So aging is often accompanied by a spectrum of mood disorders that include irritability, stress, and anxiety. These symptoms, along with more severe ones like sleep disorders, depression, aggressive behavior, and reduced motivation, have all been linked to lowered brain levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that has been called the feel-good or happiness hormone. With the progression of age, chronic low-grade inflammation sets the stage for degenerative disease in almost every area of the body. While this inflammation often leads to diabetes, cancer, and heart disease, it can also affect the brain by interfering with the production and release of serotonin. So for the body to manufacture serotonin, it needs a sufficient supply of tryptophan. Lowering tryptophan levels triggers a corresponding drop in brain serotonin production and can also impact mood, impair memory, and increase aggression. Although you cannot supplement with serotonin itself, tryptophan is readily available as a safe, well-proven supplement. Supplementing with tryptophan helps normalize levels of serotonin and other neurotransmitters, and as a result, it can reverse many of the behavioral symptoms of age, including irritability, mood disorders, anxiety, and stress. So when you think about the close connection between tryptophan and serotonin, it shouldn't be surprising that supplementing with tryptophan can regulate behaviors that often include serotonin signaling in the brain, like mood, sleep, and anxiety. Studies in animals reveal significant decreases in aggressive behavior when their diets are supplemented with tryptophan, and humans also experience similar results. People with naturally impulsive or aggressive personalities may receive the most benefit from supplementing with tryptophan based on studies of deliberate tryptophan depletion in such patients. Those people react very poorly to low tryptophan levels with an exaggerated impression of the intensity of fleeting, angry expression on others' faces and an increase in angry moods. Similar effects of tryptophan depletion are seen in adults with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which is closely associated with aggression and impulsiveness. So supplementation with tryptophan may offer relief to those patients and, of course, their long-suffering families. So as we know, tryptophan radically improves the quality of your sleep. Poor sleep quality or sleep deprivation is a common cause of irritability and moodiness, especially in older people. People who sleep poorly are much more likely to consume fats or refined sugars, and also to eat fewer vegetable portions, and even to have more irregular meal patterns. So along with serotonin, the hormone melatonin is also dependent on adequate tryptophan levels. So it works like this. Your body produces serotonin from tryptophan, and from serotonin, your body produces melatonin. So in many ways, it's like building a bridge from tryptophan to serotonin to melatonin. You need all of those pieces in place for the bridge to work. That makes tryptophan right there a tremendously valuable supplement for those whose sleep is lacking in either quantity or quality or even both. And as a chronic insomniac, I can tell you that tryptophan, along with niacin, which is actually made from tryptophan in the body, there's another relationship right there, is one of the best things I've ever taken for helping my sleep patterns. And so those who take tryptophan at bedtime are much more likely to wake up with increased alertness, to have clearer thinking, and to perform better on attention-requiring tasks. Unlike sleeping pill drugs, tryptophan induces sleepiness but does not impair performance or produce dependence. And also, it does not make it harder to be roused from sleep when necessary. As with sleep disturbances, depression can contribute to irritability, impulsive behavior, and poor judgment, and for nearly three decades, serotonin has been recognized as the neurotransmitter of central importance in managing depression. Virtually all drug therapies in use today aim to raise levels of serotonin at the synapses where nerve cells communicate. Boosting and balancing brain serotonin through tryptophan supplementation as opposed to drug therapy is an innovative approach to depression that is gaining more and more traction, especially with the discovery that patients with major depression often have very low 
low levels of tryptophan. So how much tryptophan should you be taking throughout the day? Effectiveness for sleep and mood has been seen with as little as 250 milligrams per day. What you might want to do is try taking it throughout the day with some in the morning, afternoon, and evening. So it builds up in the body over time. And I've actually done this myself many times. And what I've noticed is that when I do this, I naturally get sleepy somewhere around 10 or 11 o'clock, like when I should be getting sleepy. And during the next day or so, when something will come around that would normally irritate you, you'll notice that you feel okay, that you don't really feel irritated by it. And that's a good sign that your serotonin levels are optimized and where they should be. Also, if you watch my video on niacin, you know that niacin is made in the body from tryptophan. So taking niacin along with tryptophan will actually liberate the tryptophan you already have from what you've eaten every day and what you're taking supplementally if you choose to do that. So that tryptophan in your bloodstream can be converted to serotonin and melatonin automatically. So taking niacin is a great way to preserve and support your tryptophan levels also. And if you're going to take niacin, I would really strongly suggest just the flushing original form of niacin, just known as niacin or nicotinic acid. It will make your skin turn red for about an hour, but it really does help you sleep. And paired with tryptophan, they're obviously natural companions. The one major caution with tryptophan is that if you are already taking an antidepressant drug known as a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or SSRI, because these drugs delay normal degradation of serotonin within nerve synapses. So excessive tryptophan in combination with SSRI drugs can produce the serotonin syndrome, which usually feels like delirium, along with involuntary muscle contractions, high fever, and it can even lead to coma. So if you are taking an SSRI, do not take tryptophan. And also in 1989, you might remember that a dangerous new syndrome, eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, was traced to contaminated tryptophan supplements, which led the U.S. government to ban tryptophan imports. Since that time, however, tryptophan supplies in the U.S. have been carefully monitored and are very safe. Eosinophilia myalgia syndrome is entirely unrelated to tryptophan itself, so you shouldn't really consider it a side effect of tryptophan use. So try to take some tryptophan throughout the day with the final dose at bedtime. And I would bet that within a day or two, you're going to be noticing better sleep patterns and a positive increase in your mood. And I think that's something that all of us can use. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.